critical. So we cannot scrape for the same for the same same one twice. And that's it. That's it, guys. That's it. That's it, guys. That's how we are doing Gemini. Gemini with a lot of web scraping. Yeah. Cheers to the free tire. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome to Odu Tips, your premier channel for all latest football news and all coding nuggets, guys. All coding nuggets. So today we are going to do Gemini Pro, as I promised. We'll be doing a series of coding nuggets weekly. Yeah. So for today, we're going to do Gemini, how we've integrated Gemini to our O2 tips app application to programmatically write for us blog posts easily, guys. Let me show you how we, we are doing it. So let, let's just begin by going to Gemini. Gemini. No, 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 no. Let's just type Gemini. Hmm. Gemini, no Gemini Dev, Gemini Dev. Mm. Let's go to the docs, to the docs, guys. Stay with me here, right here, guys. Mm. So we have various models of Gemini. Um, Let's just see. Gemini is a family of generative AI models that let developers generate content and solve problems. These models are designed and trained to handle both text and images as input. This guide provides information about each model variant to help you decide which is the best fit. So for us guys, we went with Gemini 1.0 Pro. This is, the, this is the one we are using here, right here, guys. Uh, you can see the various variants. The models we have Gemini 1.50 Pro, Gemini 1.5 Flash, Gemini 1.0 Pro. This one is deprecated there. Yeah? Mm, so let's just see the one we are using. Mm -hmm. This is the one we are using, Gemini 1.0 Pro. Gemini 1.0 Pro is a natural language processing model that handles tasks like multi-turn text and code chat and code generation. Pro is capable of handling zero, one, and future learning tasks. So guys, as you can see also, we have various techniques of prompting. Mm. Some of the most used are one shot, the simplest. Um, we have uh, zero shot is actually the simplest. Then we have one shot, few shot. Um, then chain of thought prompting, yeah. Then self consistency, yeah. But chain of thought pr prompting is the one we are using. Chain of thought, COT, guys. So we'll, we'll show you that later. Uh, for now, let's continue with the Gemini 1.0 Pro. Mm -hmm. So we are using the free version. They provide actually the free version, and it's really good. The only difference with the paid version is for the free our our prompt content will be used will be used for for training the model yeah so that's the difference between the two um who's calling me who's calling me let's just stop this call uh -huh. let's continue to doesn't this call stop This one, this one is one bringing guy. Okay, let's continue, guys. Um, so on the free, we 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 are doing fifteen requests per minute, while the paid one is three sixty. Uh, actually, I was saying about the difference. The difference between the paid and the free is that uh, for the free, uh, the data is used to train the model to improve the models, while for the Paid one, their, their data isn't used, so that's the difference. I think it's perfect for me, or perfect start for or two tips. Yeah, the free tire. And um, so the free tire also has 32,000. You can input 32,000 tokens per minute. 
1500 requests per day yeah um 46 million what is this 46 million tokens per day this one is request and this one is tokens per day yeah then you can see the for the paid one also the variations here guys yeah that's it for the model model so what else can we get over here what else now let's just go to the code now guys let's go to the code here we go to the code uh-huh mm -hmm. let's start with going to the controller our uh, back end over here uh, we are going to the controller called uh generative ai yes generative ai mm. So guys, you can see, um, this is the code to format using Gemini Pro. This is just the controller. So we are leveraging the generative AI service we've created somewhere we're going to show you. Uh, uh, let's stay with that for now. Let's go to the service. What's the service? The service is called generative AI service.mjs. Here we go, guys. This is our service that we are using to generate content for our blogs. How about I first show you the blog, guys? This is just the prompt to write the blog. This is the, the one to write the content. And this is the one to write the excerpt. Mm, let me just show you. Let me show you the blogs, guys. Or two tips.com slash blog right away. Mm, here we go, guys. Here we go. These are the blogs we've written. Since I'm actually even not doing the pagination for now for the blogs, these are the entire blogs. They just come at one. Boom. Yeah, as you can see, since we integrated Gemini, this one was the first one. At it at home. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Yeah, at it at home. Let's check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes, as you can see, guys, even after writing the content, we are we are we are even inserting the images. This is markdown content. So we're just injecting the images into the markdown. Yeah, but this is the content being written. Quite awesome. Quite awesome. Mm. You can see the content. The content. Let's one of the latest Gilmore. Let's do some Euro, some Euro content, some Euro content. Hmm. Do you have here some Euro content? Let's see some Euro content on the home page, still written by still written by our guy Gemini Pro here. Choose your Scotland versus Switzerland starting 11 scotland starting 11 to first switzerland so i i think this game is playing today yeah mm, this c mark tomine scott mark tomine terminator himself right over here as you can see guys this is the this is still gemini does a lot of variations yeah quite an awesome job so let's go back to the code, actually. Let's go back to the code. Continue. So as you can see, this is the code writing that common content. Um, we, we start by getting the um, API key. We have stored in the .env file. Uh-huh. 
what else are we getting? Mm. Yeah, then we're just initiating with our model, Gemini Pro, which is an alias of Gemini 1.0 Pro. And here, here is a function put a focus on format the following content. So this is the content we are getting. Uh, this will be the next session. Actually, we'll be doing the web scraping, how we are doing the web scraping and getting this content we're injecting right here. Yes, quite an amazing journey ahead, guys. Mm -hmm. With the following title and return. Also, this title you're injecting from the web script content, guys. Amazing puppeteer and cheerio. And return the following formatted content. I want easy to read plagiarism free content. Yeah. So this one, you, see, you can see I'm even providing an example. So we can call this chain of thought or few short. One of those, it can fall under one of those. This is my prompt, guys, that is generating the content. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the controller, to the controller and see how we are doing it. So we start by, uh, we are importing and initial, initializing here a new instance of the generative AI service. Uh-huh. So this is our, this is our, our function. We are reading from the cleaned articles to JSON files. Uh, this is a file. This is a file right here. It's right here, guys. Let's let's just clean the articles. So this is these are articles that we web scraped, cleaned and done everything. So they are ready to be to be to be taken to Gemini for what should we call it? Yeah. Uh huh. So these are the article. For now, we have the two. I I have scraped them in the some 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 few hours, like two before this before this session. You know. Ah uh, yeah. So these are the two articles we scraped today. In the next session, I'll be talking about this one quite a lot more and very comprehensively. You learn a lot about web scraping, guys. But for now, let's concentrate on the Gemini, Gemini controller. Yeah, so we are reading from that file. Once we read from that file, we go through each of the articles. And we we call here for our service, here for our service dot format content. You remember that method in our, in our, in our, in our service? Yeah dot format content let's just check it out where is our service again huh. service service why service service generative ai service yeah so this is the service format content it's taking in the content and the title from our format articles function in the controller mm -hmm. Once that is done, so we are doing some slips between the, the prompting to the Gemini so that we can, it cannot burn us of, over, over doing it quite, yeah. You get the gist of the matter. Mm -hmm. So we are sleeping for 20 seconds. Uh, once you sleep, of, we format the, we now get the excerpt also using the article and the content. Still, we can show you the, the generate excerpt service, guys. What just happened? Let me see. Generate, where are we? Generate, yeah. Generate, here is the, here, generate excerpt. It's taking in the content and the title. Quite awesome. Uh-huh. So let's go again. 
we sleep for 15 seconds. Yeah, we, we did this after testing and seeing. You cannot just keep on prompting, prompting, hitting the API with requests without sleeping, it will limit you. Yeah, so sometimes you have like 20 articles being done at the same time, so you have to sleep between the requests, guys. Once this is done, we write the articles to the formatted articles.json file, guys. Where is this one now? Formatted articles.json. Here we go. Here are our two articles now that have been formatted. Uh, so for the formatting itself and running the robots and doing what, we'll be doing that in the next session, which will, will be a lot about web scraping and all that, guys. So, but for now, stay with me in here. Mm -hmm. So you can see the this is content. Uh, so what happens after this? What happens after this? What happens after this? Let's see. Ooh, it just consoled me. Okay, then we go to the next, um, to the next function in the controller. This one adds images to the content, guys. So, with with our uh, formatted. So it takes these images and adds them within this content. This content it adds within the content. It checks for for spacing and uh, for paragraphs and spacing and all that. Yeah, as you can see here, this is how it happens. This is how it happens. This is how it happens, guys. Once we've added the images, I'm just going fast through this because it's not part of Gemini. We are, we are, we are, we are done with the Gemini up there with the format articles here. Sure. But here, let's just go through and see how we are saving them to the database before retrieving them. Yeah. So here we are saving to our database. We ensure it's a unique article, so we cannot scrape for the same for the same same one twice. And that's it. That's it, guys. That's it. That's it, guys. That's how we are doing Gemini. Gemini with a lot of web scraping. Yeah. Cheers to the free tire. <laughs>